World War III, Occultic Pastors, The False Jesus. I was born in a family of six and I am third. We are five men and one woman. This experience happened in November 2007. The angel of God showed me false churches. In this encounter when my first experience of the afterlife ended, I returned to my body. I did not tell anyone. No one goes to church in my family but I told my pastor everything. Many years later I was sleeping. Then the Lord took me to hell. It is appointed for men to die once. Then comes judgment. Make no mistake. There is judgment awaiting all of us living on the earth. When you die in sin there is judgment. The afterlife is real, the place of torment is real. The Bible says when the rich man died and went to the place of torment and the poor man who kept himself sanctified went to the place of rest Luke 16 19, 31. These things are written but the Lord took me to see them. When people die in sin they go to the place of torment. In this experience I saw people dying from all over the world and they were walking on the wide road heading to the gate of hell. Beloved, many people that are dying are going to hell instead of the place of rest. I was taken to hell where I saw countless humans on the wide road heading to hell and I was tortured in hell because I was a liar and a thief. The devil commanded a demon to cut my hand and to burn my mouth. Then I was thrown in a cell. It is when I was crying and begging mercy that I saw a light that came down. The light exploded and turned to the angel of the Lord that was with me previously. The angel got me out of the cell and led me to visit many cells of hell. Addiction to technology gadget. Then I was led to another cell where I saw a man with his head bowed down. He was continually playing with the phone and he was playing endlessly. I wondered and I said, how can this man be on the phone this way? He could not stop playing with the phone. I saw that whenever this man stopped playing with the phone he was tormented. He was instructed to keep playing with the phone for whenever he stopped he will be tormented. Then I heard the angel saying, these are people who spend most of their time on their phones. They do not have time for Bible reading and prayer. In this cell, I saw teenagers and adults seated. They were watching TV. They were not supposed to stop and they should not blink otherwise demons would pierce their eyes. I was told that they spent most of their time before television. They don't have time for Bible reading or prayer. They spend all the time before TV. They were not supposed to blink for demons were piercing them for blinking and their eyes were coming back to normal after being pierced by demons and the pain of these people was increased every time they blink. Michael Jackson in hell. I was taken to a cell where I saw a man dancing endlessly. He could not stop. As he continued to dance I saw on the ceiling of this cell many whips and whenever the man stopped dancing these whips were whipping him automatically. I wondered about this man. I heard a voice that said this is Michael Jackson. I learned that his dance was from demonic inspiration. His condemnation was to dance continually forever for whenever he stopped dancing he was tormented. The Prince of Hell. The angel of the Lord showed me the throne of the devil in hell. I saw the devil rising from his throne. He was beating his chest. He said, the whole world is coming here. The world likes things that are attractive. They love luxuries and the things of the world and they will come here. Even if pastors are preaching and warning the world, even if the people are testifying about my secrets, nevertheless the people of the world are coming here. World War III. Then I saw the world leaders in a meeting with the devil. I saw the American president, the Russian president and the Asian and African leaders and European leaders. The angel told me they are planning world instability and insecurity and they are preparing World War III and the devil was giving instructions to these leaders about this coming war. The angel of the Lord told me. The devil is eager to provoke World War III because countless people will die in this conflict. As a result, an unprecedented number of souls will fall in hell. The place of torment satanic pastor. The angel of the Lord then led me to a cell that was for men of God. Inside the cell, I saw many pastors. I saw pastors who had signed pacts with Lucifer and this cell was their condemnation. I was shown many pastors that I know in this place in hell. Brothers, I talked to you about the popular pastor in the city who used the power of the dragon. The angel of the Lord showed me a powerful red dragon that was flying and landed around the man of God. I saw the pastor kneeling quickly before the beast. Then I saw the dragon opened his mouth and he started to vomit white smoke on the pastor who was covered with this smoke that made him powerful. I saw that his hand was covered with a lot of this smoke of the red dragon so that he will perform miracles. 
The angel showed me the private life of this pastor who was having homosexual relationship with his members to increase his power yet his church is full of people. The imposter the false Jesus. Then the angel of God showed me Jesus appearing to a group of pastors in the city. He said to them, I am your Lord and God and I came to receive your worship. I saw these pastors worshiping Jesus Christ but the angel of God told me, this is not Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is an imposter. He is the false Jesus and these pastors are his servants. The angel led me around the city where I saw a church that was worshiping Jesus yet the angel of God told me that they are not worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth but the imposter the false Jesus and it was made known to me that many churches in the capital worship this false Jesus. Then the angel led me to a place in hell where I saw this false Jesus sitting on the throne and before his throne on the left I saw a renowned and late man of God on the right of his throne. I saw the son of this renowned pastor. The angel told me, this is a false Jesus and this pastor and his son are servants of this imposter the false Jesus. Quickly I saw this false Jesus telling the man of God, your mission on the earth is over. It is time for your son to take over and continue your mission. I saw the false Jesus taking the crown that was on the head of the pastor and he placed it on the head of his son. He took the man of God's power and he transferred it to his son. In hell, I saw a long queue of pastors attending this imposter. They were servants of this false Jesus. There are a lot of them in the city. They are offering souls to the kingdom of hell. Occultic pastor. Outside these so-called men of God, I saw a pastor that is alive. He is not dead yet. This was Pastor Moses. However, I saw him with chains on his hand and he was sitting on the ground and with head bent. Pastor Moses is a popular pastor who is married to a mermaid thus he cannot get married. He is a popular singer who sang for his wife the water mermaid. Then I saw the life of Pastor Moses. He was given a ring which was a ring of domination. His power of domination was to increase so that he will dominate and win more souls for the devil. He was seated on the ground with head bowed. Brother, we must be very careful for many churches have turned to occultism. Leaders have buried animals beneath their churches in order to attract the crowds. The angel said, Pastor Moses does not wear that ring of domination all the time. It is only when there is a problem, an incident, or when he meets people that he is supposed to dominate that he would wear that ring. The angel said, he got this ring of power from a mermaid of the African country of Benin. Pastor Moses has buried fetish beneath his church right before the gate. Thus even if everybody in the city is denouncing his occultism and his marriage with a water spirit, members of his church will not leave. They are under manipulation and whenever he wears that ring even if you insult him when he begins to speak you will believe his word and be dominated. The angel informed that he was in contact with a magician in Benin that connected him to the goddess of the ocean that has become his wife. He was given a ring that gave him popularity and notoriety. The angel told me this occultic man must be careful for his cell in hell is ready and prepared for him. If he does not repent he will fall in hell. He is among those who have influenced the gospel singer Sister Mary in occultism. Sister Mary began well with the Lord but three years before her death she lost God's presence. She got in fornication sleeping with producers and she was in money laundering. The angel said, Sister Mary was initiated three years before her death. It is at that time that she lost her relationship with God. A fellow Christian singer initiated her. She started fine but three years before her death, she lost her faith. Politicians in hell. Then the angel of God took me to another cell in hell where it was written, political order. I was stunned to see that all of the leaders of our country were in hell. The angel told me, their rule was accompanied by bloodshed. The Lord will not receive in the eternal kingdom those who spill blood in the land. I saw our former president Mobutu. He used to call himself the eternal ruler which means he will be president forever. The Lord's angel told me, your president used to call himself eternal ruler because he signed a pact with a water goddess and this goddess asked your president to offer her the country so that his power will endure forever. Your president agreed to sell the country to the goddess Zaire. As a result, this goddess promised your president to rule your country forever. Because of this covenant, your president has baptized the country after this water goddess called Zaire. This water spirit instructed your president to go to the national river and pee in the river. The president was to take a quantity of this river water to the kingdom of Satan. 
This is in order to hand the country to the goddess Zaire and to authorize the sea goddess to establish her residence beneath the Congo River. The goddess Zaire said to your president, you will not die. You will be forever president. When Mobutu came to power, he changed the country's name from Congo to Zaire. Then the angel showed me another late president of our country. He was in hell for shedding the blood of the people in the country. His rule was all about bloodshed. Any rule that is based on bloodshed will not persist. All the presidents of our country were in hell including Prime Minister Lumumba. He also shed blood when he was in power. Then I saw the former South African president. He was also condemned for bloodshed even if he did that in the framework of the liberation of the black majority. I told you last time that the angel of God gave me the authorization to enter the cell of the Congolese celebrity Papa Wemba and I talked to this musical celebrity and this celebrity me that he was in the same secret order with the singer Kofi. He told me, you gonna tell Kofi his time on the earth is really short. He must convert now for his years on the earth is almost finished. This was my encounter with the angel of the Lord. The Lord wants to warn his people to watch and pray and to be vigilant for the time is short. World War III, Occultic Pastors, The False Jesus